ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by as you guys know in warzone we have a ton of weapons between a bunch of different categories rifles smgs shoddies lmgs so on and so forth and today i wanted to pick out the best weapon in every single one of these main categories where you can actually go in and customize your loadout so obviously things like launchers uh and the melees not as customizable it's just down to the specific build of that launcher or melee but we obviously have plenty of different options when it comes to our categories here so let's go ahead let's break down what exactly the best guns are in each one of these categories let's start first here with the pistols then work our way back towards the main ones obviously real quick before we break down the attachments just wanted to let you guys know uh right now all weekend long my g fuel discount code immortal is boosted to 30 percent off so if you guys want to grab anything at all right now is a fantastic time to do so a starter pack a shaker cup a new tub whatever it may be Code Immortal has you covered. Nice little 30% off discount boost the entire weekend to celebrate my birthday. But anyways, when it comes to the amp here, uh, just as far as all the other pistols go, we got a lot of semi-auto weapons that are not going to be the most practical. Amp is nice and easy, obviously fully automatic. Plus, it also uh, is decent when it comes to TTK. It's one of the more competitive pistol options. Most of the time, you're going to see players running overkill as is, but for a restock or a tempered class, the amp is a great choice. So first up initially here, I do have the agency suppressor. I'm also going to go ahead and run the reinforced heavy barrel here. Task Force just doesn't really seem that worth it to me. The recoil is a bit much. Even for some close range fights, the, the pros here, just nothing crazy. Reinforced heavy gets the job done just fine. I got the Tiger Team Spotlight on here. It'll help out that movement speed a bit. We're going to go ahead and run the standard 30 round mag. Then lastly, I just go ahead. I run the Serpent Ramp for that faster ADS time. The stock here, dual wield, not really worth using. You don't need an optic. This setup works just fine for a standard nice secondary that's pretty reliable for some close range fights now getting back into the primaries here the core of which you're probably going to be using we got the snipers and in my opinion the three line is the way to go now yes the garanko is pretty solid the zrg is pretty solid to me though the three line the capability to one shot at any range while also having the pro of 10 attachments is just too much to pass up uh and compared to the garanko for instance it, i just like how it feels it's a little bit more aggressive it works for rebirth uh caldera fortunes keep you name it it is solid so first up here we got the mercury suppressor no cons here for uh you know ads speed like over on the mx so it's just nice and convenient for that while keeping you off the radar i'm still running the first barrel here primarily for the better velocity and the faster ads uh obviously the one shot here is super good across all ranges you can one shot headshot at any range so that no damage fall off is not the most important for headshots but it'll also come in handy for some body shots in case you are hitting some of those i like the base optic if you have an optic you prefer more feel free to go ahead and run that i got the custom mz stock here better ads speed yet again we're also going to go for more of the same with the skeletal underbarrel so it's nice and snappy for our magazine we are still running the 20 round mags better damage better velocity better range we got lengthened on there obviously for the better velocity i go for fabric for the uh rear grip here you could also go for leather both of those do help out with the ads speeds Perk one, we got silent focus for the better stability, just helps out with that sway. Then finally, perk two, we got on hand for that faster ADS. So the ADS here, nice and snappy, can one shot, headshot at any range, also has plenty of velocity and just basic range as well. So this thing is very well rounded. Then we get into the marksman rifles, which obviously we have things like the car and the SPR. In my opinion, I consider those more to be snipers, and the three line is better than them. So I wanted to focus on the true marksman rifles here. And in my opinion, the M1 Grand is the way to go. Go. this is a uh, newly buffed marksman rifle that honestly is very very strong for players who can use it correctly obviously the semi-auto aspects of most of these weapons throws a lot of people off and you just it, it's not worth the time for a lot of players because it does require more skill and more effort to do well with but the damage output here is honestly better than most rifles uh the ttk when you're landing shots consistently is hyper competitive like it is a really solid option so first up here i do got the mx silencer for that better range keeping us off the map better control we're going for the iron sides barrel here it offers the best control possible while also giving you better velocity as well for medium and long range for the optic this is primarily preference based i like the 2.5 on a lot of my weapons now especially for mid range but again if you have one you prefer more feel free to opt for that for my stock here i am running padded better control during sustained fire also better strafe speed as well which is a nice added bonus there for the under barrel you can definitely go a couple of different routes if you do spam this carver is a great choice other than that i feel like hand stop in general wouldn't be bad either for a decent amount of control horizontally and vertically but i think carver for most players will work just fine for a magazine here you could either go between the soccer 
Sakura 40 round drums, which give you better control. Uh, the fire rate is more so dependent on how fast you can spam it. I don't think the 30 round extended mag is a bad choice either, but Sakura 40, you're getting that better control plus 10 extra rounds. I think that works just fine. We're going to go ahead, run lengthened on here per usual. For our rear grip, I honestly like stippled on weapons that are semi-auto here. However, in this case, it helps out with the initial control, which obviously counteracts something like padded, which is sustained. And also we're going to be using hard scope on here as well for sustained. And so that kind of counteracts, which is a bit unfortunate. So, so in that case, I'd probably just end up going for something like pine tar. The recoil here seems to be largely uh, vertical. So that'll help out there. Rubber will as well, if you don't want as much of a con with the ADS speed. So that sort of comes down to preference. Then perk two, we're going to go ahead, run on hand for that faster ADS as well. It's a harder weapon to use because you do have to be super accurate and consistent with your shots, but hey, it is strong and it gets the job done. Now, moving into our attack rifles here, I've got the AUG from Cold War. Before we break down the attachments here, just a reminder, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that sub button, turn on those post notifications. Every day I got you covered with the latest news, updates, loadouts, everything going on in COD. Now, the AUG in comparison to some of these other marksman rifles, I mean, M16 is close, but the AUG's damage, in my opinion, is just a little bit more worth it. Type 63 DMR, a little bit too similar to the M1 Grand, which I feel is better now. Carve is decent as well, but to me, the AUG is just standing out here in a way that these other ones don't. The bursts are consistent. It can be that two to three burst kill with full health if you're landing upper body shots. It's just overall very solid. Here we got the agency suppressor. You actually want to go for the titanium barrel for that max fire rate, and that'll help out the most uh, with that TTK. I don't like the base optics, so I'm going to go ahead and run the three times. That to me works just fine. I'm going to go ahead and run the 54 round drum, and then also I do have field agent foregrip on there as well to help minimize any of that recoil there when you're spamming bursts. Overall, this thing for mid-range is ridiculously good. Now, of course, for our LMGs, no surprise here. The UGM is the go-to. It is a beast, and for long range, a top, top, top tier choice uh, as of right now. So the setup here, no stranger to the channel. We've talked about this numerous times. We got MX silencer. We got the 736 barrel, 2.5 times 36, whatever other optic you might prefer. We got the anchor stock on there. Perk one, I'm going to go ahead and run tight grip. Surveil is also a good choice if you are comfortable with the recoil. Perk two, we got fully loaded. You could also go for on hand though, if you wanted to. We got hatched for our rear grip here, the Sakura 125 round box. We got lengthened and we also got the strife angled on there for that horizontal control to help minimize that like i said this setup no stranger to the channel this thing just melts now for shotguns i don't think any of these are particularly great right now like we really don't have a shotgun meta i do think the combat shotgun is the way to go it was nerfed recently so it's not going to be as strong as it was before but for that super super close range we're talking like within eight meters this i think is probably your go-to choice we're gonna go for the full choke here initially for that tighter pellet spread it'll just make it so that it's a bit more accurate in those close range engagements. We got the sawed off barrel here for that better damage. Also helps out with that movement speed as well, which is nice. Uh, for our optic, we don't really need one here, so you don't need to worry about that. For the stock, I feel like the wire is probably the best bet just because it helps out with that sprint to fire and that movement speed. Uh, custom certainly is not bad either, but I mean, just general movement here wire is going to be the go-to and we want to make this as aggressive as possible so that we can close the gap and get to that eight meter mark uh, as fast as possible right i'm going to go for the pistol grip for that better sprint to fire also helps out with some of that hip fire accuracy we got the five round tube on here for that better damage and better damage range for the ammunition this is where things get a bit interesting because Again, I don't feel like any of these necessarily stand out. The slug requires too much accuracy. I'm not a huge fan of that. Packed powder, I don't really love the fact that it hurts the fire rate a little bit. Uh, slugs, again, we don't want those. Reduced powder, better fire rate, but it hurts the damage range. I feel like you're not really getting the best out of any of these, maybe outside of frangible, honestly. Like, there's not really any great options there. For the rear grip, I just go for tapes for the better sprint to fire and the better movement speed. Perk one, I'm going to go ahead and run vital for that increased torso damage could potentially help out your shots there and then perk two i got quick you could also do fully loaded if you wanted to but that better sprint speed again to close that gap now for our smg of course it's the ppsh the thing is an absolute monster we're gonna go to the barrel last here but we got the recoil booster uh, i like the iso three piece sights you could also do a slate reflector if you like that a little bit more i got remove stock we're gonna go ahead and run fleet for perk one quick for perk two our rear grip we of course have tape that's sort of the usual go-to uh here on most of the smgs we got the nambu round which of course got buffs with season five we got subsonic to stay off the radar we also have the skeletal underbarrel 
in most cases and if you want to use that skeletal under barrel for that snappy ads i'd recommend either the light barrel or the 230 barrel the 230 is what a lot of players are using despite the slightly slower ads it works really well for close range fights so that's certainly an option if you want the max tck build go ahead put on the steady under barrel go for the rapid barrel and uh, this thing just melts everyone and anything in your way this is my preferred build but honestly you could use any of these barrels with certain under barrels and you're gonna have a great smg and then lastly for rifles i do have the stg it's a super competitive category you could make a case for the vargo here the automaton uh the grau in some cases like there are a lot of uh cases for good rifles right now to me though everything balanced out the recoil the damage over range the velocity is a big portion of why i think the stg is so good the movement speed everything here is just super well balanced so to me the stg is the best rifle but it is not like a major gap between this and number two three four so on and so forth here we're starting off first with the mx silencer we got the 760 barrel 2.5 times or whatever optic you might prefer weighted stock perk one we got nerves of steel perk two we're gonna go for fully loaded for a rear grip we are gonna do hatch this basically negates the very minimal horizontal control that there is here like there's very minimal horizontal movement it's largely vertical we got the 50 round garanko mags we got lengthened and then i also go for carver to help uh with some of that vertical control it's a super easy weapon to use regardless like i said it's basically straight up so you don't have to worry too much about uh you know being thrown off because the pattern here you can fire out this thing over all ranges and with that being said those are the best weapons in every major category here in warzone right now that's gonna wrap things up for today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here feel free to subscribe with those noties turned on that way you can always stay up to date with everything going on but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later peace out